Hey, what's going down, everybody? It's your boy D-Man for Life, aka D Mizzle Frizzle, coming back at you with some more EA Sports UFC. And right now, I thought I'd update you on how my career is going and what my stats and abilities are. So let's get a quick run through. As for my abilities, right now, I'm using the first game plan, and I have fluidity on, which means I don't drain a lot of stamina from consecutive strikes I have increased damage from kicks I have fighting dirty which means my strikes in the clinch and on the ground do a lot of damage and the other thing I have is marathoner which means I recover stamina faster while I'm moving as opposed to the normal rate as for my attributes, I'm an overall 80 fighter with an 84 in stand-up, 68 in submission, and 76 on the ground, so that means I'm, I'm a pretty well-rounded fighter. My strengths primarily lie in my stand-up and my ground striking, so there's that. And my sponsorships, I've got roughly 180,000 fans, so I have Torque. Uh, Tilted Kilt, Fear the Fighter, Dethrone, Royalty, Dynamic Fastener, Autoshopper.com, and Alienware as my current sponsors on my fight banner. So now that that's out of the way, let's, uh, oh, I forgot to show you guys my ranking in the world. Currently, Chris Weidman is still the uh, middleweight champion. He's 13-1. and one. So he's lost once. I don't know to who though. I'm not in the top 10 yet, but I am in the top 20 and I'm undefeated at 11 and 0. I'm number 17. I haven't started fighting any name guys yet, so but I suspect that'll change pretty shortly with a few more wins. So let's see who I'm fighting. Khalid Sykes, and he's a MMA fighter like I am, style-wise, got a dirty fro <laughs> and a hairy chest, and this is going to happen at UFC 209, and his record is 11-4. and four. I think I should be higher up on the card, but I am on the main fight card on the pay-per-view, so let's run this motherfucker down and get to that top 10 spot. Okay, so it's Joseph Benavides in the main event. I'm moving up on the card, so as I said before, I'm in the main event. Well, not the main event, but I am on the pay-per-view card, so let's get it in. Coming up next, it's a middleweight showcase between Prince and Assassin. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighter out of the blue This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. Standing six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighter from New York, New York, USA, Assassin. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting. How is this guy not in the welterweight division? He can't cut three pounds, and he's fucking six two. What the hell, man? USA, <laughs> And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And our referee for this fight will be Mario. Okay, let's go, Prince. Let's see what you got. Partners always Joe Rogan, and we are set to get. Comes out with a. Nice sidekick, but I got him with a nice one too. 
Five minutes. Jab, jab. Ooh, he parry. Black trunks for assassin. Head kick. Trunks for Prince. Solid hook to the head. Ooh. Nice. Nice one, too. He has no stamina. That punch was blocked. Nice job with the roundhouse. Good strike. Oh, what an exchange. Damn, he's quick. Whoa, Capoeira. Banana way, banana way, banana. For all those who don't know, that's only the strong. Cormier with a nice one. Throws a hammer at him. Got to get up. Can't let this dude keep me down on the ground. Solid strike to the head. Whew. Assassin gets up. Very nicely done. Good body kick. Great job blocking that huge head kick. Nice. Assassin gets caught by the head kick. He landed a couple good shots here. Damn. Scored on the body shot. Left hand. Wow. What a back and forth exchange. Can't come at me with these kicks, dude. Missed on the takedown attempt. Damn, that was a bad takedown. Block, and he counters with the left hook. Nice body kick. Damn, call me with that Capoeira kick again. Oh! I gotta take him for a ride like Marvel 2. That's some wrestling right there. Prince's opponent needs to be aware that he is still very dangerous on his back here. He has a very aggressive guard. He will throw You're going to give me the submission, baby. Under three on the clock. Round he got free. The Damn, he got free. But I'm about to elbow this guy. Elbows, baby. Elbows, 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 elbows. Think my name was John Jones, homie? In the full guard. That's a solid punch. Get up. Regain some stamina. And he gets back up again. Assassin. Damn, what is that? Trading blows here. What an exchange. This dude is catching me with the serious capoeira. Oh, and he's down. Prince gets back up again. Oh, back and forth battle. Oh, get up. Oh, shit. And a big head kick. Up, Good up, up. up. Nice roundhouse kick. Big wow. head kick connects. Oh. Whoa! Oh, that was nasty. That was nasty. <laughs> fight replay. Let's see here on the replay the impact of this perfectly placed front kick for the knockout. Let's see it one more time. The front kick snaps right on the target. Absolute perfect technique, and that is the end of this fight. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 55 seconds of the very first round. The player by knockout, Assassin. Assassin wins by knockout. Looks like my fan base is over 200,000, but I absorbed way too many significant strikes in that fight. 16. Damn, I gotta do better. Hey, what's up, kid? This is Smooth Benson Henderson here. I see you. I see you making waves. Go ahead, man. Keep it up. I'll see you next time. 
All right, John Jones, UFC light heavyweight champion here. I watched your last fight. That wasn't too bad. I see some real potential in you. Keep it up. I'm Chuck Liddell. You're on a great winning streak. I'm becoming a fan. I'm going to catch you next time. Did any of you guys understand what the hell Chuck Liddell just said? I didn't either. <laughs>